Oh, damn it. There's no air, no air left. Isn't that annoying? Well, I'm going to show you how to refill these two different ways. Alright guys, I've got juice in the can, but no air in the damn thing. So, that's most annoying. Right, so I'm going to refill this one, and I'm going to refill a little uh, thing that you blow your keyboards with, a little compressed air can. Two, two different ways of doing it. Um, I'm using a compressor. You don't have to have a compressor. Uh, well, let's get on and show you this way first, if you can see that. You got your compressor there. That, yeah. Uh, just stick it on there, press, press the doodad down, and give it a squeeze. And that, that fills up real easy. Mind you, I've got my compressor set to 150 PSI. You don't want that much in here, that's for sure. Uh, if you're not sure of how much to spray in... There you go. Way, that works pretty good. If you're not sure how much air to spray in, um, I, fill, I put about 95 to 100 pounds in a can of WD. I, I just squirt it until I think it's right. But wear your safety goggles. You don't want to blow an eyeball out. <laughs> but works really well. Anyway, that's one way. The other way, I use a tubeless tire valve. You don't have to buy these, but um, I've normally got it for these kicking around at any one time. They're less for two. They're less. Than, they're less than two bucks on Amazon. It really not worth pissing about in my book, but uh, yeah, that's what I use. Pull your lid off. Um, and I don't use this anymore. Hope that didn't blow your ears out. I use a tire inflator. So, just put your, put your valve in your tire inflator there and how to do this in film and just push it down on your on the top of your can there just push that round get a nice seal see so yeah, how that's done There we go, back in business. There's plenty of juice left in there, just no air. So anyway, that's how I do it. Like I say, I would put about 95 PSI in here. But uh, if you hurt yourself doing this, don't blame me, you're doing it at your own risk. I've got another video coming soon, how to refill with WD-40. Because I, I get the WD in a uh, gallon can and I'll show you how to do that on another video. Oh yeah, link in the description if you want to get some of these valves off of Amazon. Can't go wrong, less than two bucks delivered to your door. An extra tip, cause what I'm doing, I'm messing about with this bandsaw. Hard to get 62 inch bandsaw blades, but um, this company called Blackstone, they make a great one. These last for ages, and they come wrapped, you know when you're dealing with good saw blades, the whole blade comes wrapped in this to protect the teeth. And and this is handy if you make knives and you want to cover your blade up. Anyway, quick tip on how to put a bandsaw blade on the easy way. I get my bottom blade lined up and I just put a bit of tape around there, just to hold it. I do that in two places. And that leaves you free to set the top top of the blade up. Set the top of the blade up and that's it. Yeah, really helps. Pretty interesting tip, eh, on the WD. Uh, for, not just for filling up WD, but your paint cans, any, any aerosol pretty much. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you later.